Bulaga! For well, guys, for today's video, we are going to have a review. Find an equation of a line with a slope negative 3 over 5 and y intercept 0, negative 4. <laughs> okay guys, tuturuan ko kayo ngayon. Uh, review para sa second quarter, Math 8. So, we will proceed to linear equation. This is the first question. Alright, so here we are going to find the equation given the slope. So, it is negative 3 over 5. So, m equals negative 3 over 5. And uh, another given is the point, the y-intercept, 0. We have negative 4. Okay, so in this case, you are going to use the formula of slope-intercept, which is y equals mx plus b. Because given the uh, slope and given the y-intercept. So, m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So, all you have to do is substitute. So, y equals negative 3 over 5 x. Then, the y-intercept is 0, negative 4. So, we will use minus 4. Then, this is now your final answer. Alright. Very easy. Next question number two, find an equation for the line containing the points negative two, six, and four, positive eight. I'm going to show you the solution of this. Bulaga, question number two. <laughs> for question number two, given two points. So we are going to find the equation of a line. So we have negative two, six, and four, eight. First, you are going to solve for the slope. So, what is the formula? So, we have the formula m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 in order to find the slope. Alright? Then, after that, substitute. So, we have now, or you can assign uh, x sub 1 here, y sub 1, then x sub 2, y sub 2. So, you are going to label so that you will not confuse. Okay, so let's do the substitution. So, we have now 8 minus 6 over 4 plus 2. So, because this is negative, so negative, negative, it will turn to positive. And then, we have now 2 over 6. Then, the lowest term is, so divisible by 2. So, just divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. So, this is equals now 2. One third. Okay, so this is now your slope. Then after finding the slope, you're going to use the formula to find the equation. We have y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. So m is the slope, so we have now 1 over 3. Then uh, you can use either of the two points, so you can use it. You will get the same answer. So, we will substitute y minus, so let's use this one, y sub 1 is 6, so minus 6 equals, we have 1 over 3 as the slope then, uh, times x plus 2. Okay, so simplifying this, so we have now y minus 6 equals 1 third x plus 2 over 3. Okay, so to remove the denominator, we are going to multiply all the terms by 3. So we have 3y minus 18, then equals x plus 2. Then rearranging the equation, we have now, so we have uh, 0 equals x minus 3y plus 18, then plus 2. So, 18 plus 2 equals uh, 20. So, we have now 0 equals x minus 3y plus 20. Okay. So, or uh, I will accept this answer. Or you can write the answer as x minus 3y equals negative 20. So, this is also correct. Question number three, find the equation of the line through the point 2, negative 9, 
that is parallel to the graph of x plus 2y equals 8. So, let me show you the solution of this. Alright, for question number uh, 3, so we are going to find the equation again, but this time uh, given the parallel lines and uh, a point. So, to solve this, uh, we will start from the equation. So, the equation given is x plus 2y equals 8. So, we are going to find the slope first using the slope intercept form. So, all you have to do is transpose x. So, it will become now 2y equals negative x plus 8. And then, we move this 2 by dividing both sides by 2. So, cancel because 2 divided by 2 is equals to 1. And then, y equals negative 1 over 2x, then plus 4. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. So, the slope now is m1 equals negative 1 half. So, since number 3 is a parallel lines, so it means they have the same slope. Okay, so using this uh, formula, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. So, we will substitute the same slope, then we will use point here. The point given is 2, negative 9. Alright. So, this is your x1, this is your y sub 1. Okay. So, y minus, so negative 9, so we can write it as plus 9 equals uh, negative 1 half times x minus 2. So, all we have to do is uh, distribute the slope, negative 1 half. So, y plus 9 equals negative 1 half x plus uh, negative 1 half times negative 2 equals positive 1. And then we will remove the denominator 2. So all you have to do is multiply all the terms by 2, both sides of the equation. So we have 2y, 2 times y, 2y, 2 times 9 equals 18. Then equals negative 1 half times 2 equals negative x, then plus 2. Then, uh, transpose the terms in order to find the equation so we can bring negative x on the uh, left side. So, we have now uh, x plus 2y that equals 2, plus, uh, 2 minus 18 because this is positive. When we bring it here, so it will become minus 18. So, the final answer is x plus 2y uh, equals negative 16. So, this is now the equation. Question number four. Find an equation of the line through the origin and perpendicular to the graph of 3x plus 4y equals 10. So, I'm going to show you the uh, solution of this. Bulaga! Again. Alright. For question number four, we have the given perpendicular line equation and then another given is the origin. So, you know that the coordinate of the origin is 0, 0.00. So, we have 0, 0. So, that's the coordinate of the origin. Then, first, we are going to find the slope using this equation. So, 3x plus 4y is equals to 10. So, we will uh, transpose 3x. So, we have 4y equals negative 3x plus 10. Then, divide both sides by 4. So, cancel 4. Y equals negative 3 over 4x plus 5 over 2. 5 over 2 because that's the lowest term of 10 divided by 4. Now, m1 equals negative 3 over 4. So, the negative reciprocal of this, M2 will be, so the slope number to the negative reciprocal to make it perpendicular is 4 over 3. Okay. Now, so we will use this 0, 0 the points using this formula, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 2. So, all we have to do is substitute y minus 0 equals 4 over 3 times x minus 0. So, this is your x sub 1, then y sub 1. 
and then y equals 4 over 3x. So 4 over 3 times 0 equals 0. So this is now your final answer. Question number 5. What is the y intercept of the equation 5x plus 4y minus 20 equals 0? So let's have the solution. Alright. Bulaga! Then for question number 5, we are asked to find the y intercept. So the given equation, we have 5x plus 4y minus 20 equals 0. So to find the y-intercept, let x equals 0. So all you have to do is substitute. We have now 5 times 0 plus 4y minus 20 equals 0. So 5 times 0 is 0. So we have 4y minus 20 equals 0. So this is uh, minus 20, so the inverse of minus 20 is plus 20. So plus 20, both sides, plus 20. So cancel out 4y equals 20. Then the inverse of multiplication is division, so that's why we will divide both sides by 4. So cancel this, y is equals to 5. So the y-intercept now is 0, 5. So this is the answer. Oh. Okay guys, so we have five questions uh, for today's lesson. So maybe tomorrow I'm going to upload another questions. So this is part of our uh, second quarterly lessons. Have a nice day to everyone. Bye-bye.